everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy. It's Monday morning, and of course that means we got a what sold video, but we got more to go over today. Uh, it's our annual, or our, <laughs> it's our not annual, it's our monthly how much did Mike spend at Goodwill last month contest. I got some thrift items I gotta show you, so let's get going. All right, right out of the gate, we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about the how much did Mike spend at Goodwill last month contest. God, that's wordy. Uh, so yeah, uh, here's all my receipts. Uh, if you're watching me for the first time, you don't know what I'm doing, what am I talking about? Every month I do a giveaway contest for a free prize to one winner that guesses how much did I spend at Goodwill last month. So here's all the receipts, they're folded over. I got the total right here covered up, you can't see it. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a fun contest. It's my way of giving back, saying little things for watching videos, putting the comments and the thumbs up and doing all that stuff on my videos. So uh, I appreciate it so much. This is uh, the one thing that I want to do every month. Uh, we've had a lot of different winners. We've had a couple of duplicate winners. Some of you are getting pretty good at this. We're getting guesses that are really close, just dollars off of what I actually spent. And there's gonna be four different prizes. Let me go over what your choices are, of prizes are, because whoever wins, we'll do the drawing probably on Friday or next Monday, just depending on how the videos work out this week. And uh, I'm gonna give you the winner, four different options of what they can pick. Now, I always give a couple card options because you know I'm into cards and everything. So usually I give a choice of three packs of football cards, but I'm upping it. Nobody's been even interested in these, so we're up to five packs we got a few action packed and one of these from 1999 so five packs of football cards that is one option the next option which i think has been an option every month is a couple packs of star wars cards but these haven't been taking a while so we're adding boom third pack so now you got a choice of three packs of star wars cards and the next two are pretty good these are items that i've picked up recently one of them i told you i was going to put in one of these giveaways and it's this right here we got baby yoda and uh, this is a, or the child, whatever you want to call him. I know he's got a Grogu. Uh, this is a fig pin from Funko Pop. Got a cool picture on the back. If you got a kid, this would make a great Christmas present for them. Or if you want it for you, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, it's one of these cool fig pins from the Mandalorian. We got him. This is one of your prize options as well. And the fourth option, I just picked this up the other day. It is a Nintendo Switch case. And this is Zelda, one of the special games. So it's cool brown case here. It holds your switch inside no switch with it though it's an empty case so this is a choice as well you got a switch you got a kid they need a case this would make a great christmas present or just a regular gift for you or somebody you know and love so we got a choice of four packs packs this or the case so get your guesses in down below in the comments just gotta put a dollar amount say six dollars it's not six dollars say two hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars it's not that much either. Uh, you guys know from guessing in the past about the range that it's been in. The, <laughs> the range that it's been in. So uh, get your guesses in there. Good luck to everybody. I kind of hope a new winner wins this time. We've had a lot of duplicate winners. We've had a lot of the same people. So good luck to everybody. Get your guesses in now. Now let's talk about sales from the weekend. It was actually a pretty good weekend. I sold 20 some odd items on eBay. And I've actually done all the cards that I sold. I already packed them up, boxed, ready to go. They're out in the car waiting to go to the post office. If you want to see what cards and card related items sold, you got to go over to my That Card Guide channel. Uh, on Mondays, I'm going to start doing that. If I have a lot of card sales, I'm going to make kind of two videos. The other one went pretty quick. So uh, go check out the card sales on That Card Guy. If you haven't heard of that before, the link's down below. That Card Guy, yeah, it's on YouTube. You can check out the sales there. Everything else back here, I think, is all thrifted items. I don't think anything else. Actually, one guy, one item I got from my guy. So, uh, yeah, let's get over sales. First up, we have this very large Dickies white T-shirt. I bought three of these at a Goodwill. Paid less than $5 a piece for them. I thought it was going to be a really good buy because they were a really big size. Something that would be hard to find at the stores that people would have to go online for. And they've just sold very slowly. I bought three of them that day. One sold a while back. This one here, I had to sell through offer. I think I had them at 20 bucks, set on offer for 15 plus shipping 
and they took it. Guess we're going to do all the clothing-related items first. Next, we got this Arizona Cardinals jersey. Uh, item that I just listed last week, sold within just a couple days. So this is Adrian Wilson, very popular player when he was here with the Arizona Cardinals. He's in our ring of honor at the stadium. This is a nice sewn jersey. I believe it's Reebok. Yeah, it's like the Reebok on field. So you got the nice stitched letters and numbers and everything. This one's also a good size. It's an XL, and it also has the plus two length, which is a good bonus. I was checking out the comps on these and uh, jerseys prices can range all over the place because some people will run jerseys as auction. I never recommend doing that. Always put them at fixed price. Worst cases, you can send out some offers if you want to give a little bit of a discount, but don't run auctions on jerseys. They don't usually go too well. And the prices range anywhere from like $15 up to about $50. And there might've been one at 60. I went ahead and put this out at 49 99 plus shipping. And like I said, it sold in just a couple of days. So bought it for, I think it was about 10 bucks or so, somewhere in that range and end up getting 50 plus ship. Next, we have this hockey jersey here. You can see and you'll see when the pop-up comes on the screen. This is an autographed jersey of the Florida Panthers. I got this from my guy that I get a lot of collectibles from. He had three different jerseys that I bought from him that day. He had a bunch of them, but I just picked out three that I wanted. This one, Florida Panthers, has a great logo. Took a long time to sell. It's probably been in my store a year and a half to two years now. Luckily, the other two sold quickly. This one took quite a while. I had it in my store for like $130. I might have had it even higher originally. But I had it for like $130 after I revised the listing six months or so ago. Sent on an offer for $85 plus shipping. It is going up to Canada. So they're going to pay a little bit extra for shipping. They're in for a hundred and some dollars plus. And I'm not making a lot of this. I sold it for $85. I actually bought it for $60. I bought all three jerseys for $60 each that day. So after fees, I'm netting a few dollars, but not a whole lot on this one. All right, I figured this would sell around this time of year. This is an Oakland Raiders or, you know, Las Vegas Raiders. Now, this one just says Raiders, so it could have been LA Raiders. It could have been Oakland, another Vegas. Really cool stocking. I think it says Raiders right there on the stocking as well. It's quite a while ago. I figured it would take a bit to get to the holidays here. Finally did sell. Got uh, like $15.99, $14.99 plus ship. It's not, next item is obviously a baseball. But it came in a big bag of baseballs that I picked up at a Goodwill. Kind of like a mystery bag, I always call it. I like to break these open on my That Card Guy channel, show the different balls that were in there. Sometimes they're vintage baseballs, other times they're autographed. This one here is an official Pac-10. Pac-10. They're the Pac-12 now. And uh, so it's a vintage baseball. Surprised at how much they were selling for. I ended up getting 20 bucks plus shipping for this. And let me show you. I have these little boxes here. Get them from Supply Hut, four by four by four. It worked out perfect. You just put a little bit of bubble wrap around this, put it in the box, not much else needed. Ships out for like $4, maybe $4 and change. I did sell another Green Bay Packer sticker. These are on my store for $3.99 with free shipping. I just put them in an envelope like this. Fits in here, put a stamp on it, ships out for however much stamps are right now. Does not get tracking, so I know that counts against your eBay metrics, but I don't sell a lot of these. So to have one out of every 200 or 300 sales, it's not gonna affect my reseller status on eBay. So uh, sell for four bucks, free shipping. Actually, I bought a ton of these from Lonnie over at Garage and Shed Flips. He had some bulk lots of stickers a while back. The Packers have been selling pretty good. The other ones that I have, not as much. I think I paid him about, I think it was a little bit under a dollar per sticker on these. You know, I love selling Lego and I really do like selling Lego Duplo. They're easy to build. They're easy to count the pieces. And the majority of the pieces, if they are missing one, I have extras of. So this here is a Marvel superheroes adventure. We got Spider-Man, I think there's Incredible Hulk, and the last guy is the Sandman. So we got three figures in here as well. There's what the little figure guys look like. And they kind of make them look like younger kids, not the actual mean villains and superheroes and stuff. Uh, this actually was complete in box and there was some extra pieces in it as well. Found out this is a discontinued model, fairly scarce, sells for decent money, even used. I did cross list it over on Amazon. It did sell on eBay first. On Amazon, I was asking like 50 or 59.99. eBay, they were a little bit cheaper, 40 bucks plus shipping and got the sale and it took less than a week. So fantastic pickup on this. I paid, I think it was like $2.98 for this at uh, one of my local shops. I just had the Amazon come to the store come to the door. Have you ever had a day like this where you just got like four packages? I don't even remember what we ordered. Maybe my wife ordered stuff. I'll have to check those out later. All right, continuing on with sales. Lego, I talked about it. I love selling Lego and Duplo because a lot of times, again, in these bags or you find a big hanging bag at a Goodwill, there's a lot of extra pieces and parts that can be worth some good money. 
Both of these are those type of things. So look here, we just have this Jurassic World and this is a blue Raptor. This guy sold for $13.49 plus shipping just for this one guy. So that's a really nice sale. And then I sold uh, Wild Style, also known as Lucy and Emmett from the Lego movie. These are both Duplo figures. And let me scroll up on my screen here to see what these sold for. These sold for $14.99 plus shipping. So yeah, $30 just for these three little figures that were just in mystery bags, bundles, extras and boxes. Love picking up this kind of stuff. Just a couple more sales to go over next. We just got this dual timer. This is just one of these items that I pick up at our local DI. There's always lots of new inbox items. Generally they price them anywhere from like $2 to maybe $5 tops. I think this one was three bucks and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. It's just a little dual timer thing. I don't know, use it in your kitchen or something. And I was really happy. Uh, I showed last week that I had a really big haul of like all, all these uh, Dungeons and Dragons type adventure manuals and stuff. I did get one sale over the weekend. I got four items listed out of that big batch and I had one to sell, but it was the cheapest one of, out of all of them. So we got these two adventure manuals. They look the same but they actually are different names on here. These sold for $16.99 plus shipping. I bought them all for a dollar each. So I have $2 into these. I think I paid 65 or $70 for everything all combined and all of that uh, adventure game stuff. So I'm slowly getting my money back. Got to get some more of these uh, modules listed here this week. And now onto the last part of this video is going to be items that I've picked up that I've thrifted over the last week that I need to get into my store. Uh, whether it's out of my antique booth or on eBay or Amazon. A lot of stuff out in the garage right now that's been backing up. I've been finding quite a bit of stuff recently. So first up, have you hit the thumbs up button? If you want to do that, that'll help me out. If you're new, you're watching for the first time, of course, I'm going to ask you to hit the subscribe button to help support the channel. All right, so first up, we have this Arizona Monopoly game. Uh, checked it out here. All the pieces look to be inside. Now I got to do the final search, go inside, make sure that every single card in there. I just always look to make sure that the playing pieces are inside. And as long as they're inside generally the game is going to be complete i don't think this is going to sell for a whole lot on ebay so something like this will go into my antique booth for probably like 15 bucks it seems to be the price range where i can sell a lot of these themed monopoly for unless it's really cool i've sold some for 20 and 25 that are a little bit better but 15 bucks for this seems to be about the right price next i found this actually i'm kind of excited about this one this is a hot wheels cargo plane still in the original box it is still marked i always talk about it. i go to di a lot Got their price tag, just $5 for this big guy. Uh, I don't know if it's new unused. It is complete in the box. I pulled it out. What they, what they do because it's so big it, this way is they had to take the wings off to get it in this box properly. Uh, I, I looked at the comps. Uh, I'll throw some up on the screen. If I remember correctly, I think new these are like $80. So I'm guessing if this is used, it's got to be at least $30. I'm hoping $40 or $50 would be even better that I got the box with it being used. So I have high hopes for this one, but yeah, I could turn $5 into potentially $40 and up. The next one is this here. It is a portable color touch screen video poker. Yeah, I saw this in the store, brand new in the box. You can see I paid $7.49 for it. And looking over on Amazon right now, there's none currently available. There hasn't been a whole lot of sales, but my guess is this is an older product and there hasn't been a lot available. Uh, last sales were eight, between $80 and $100 for this. I think someone for Christmas will definitely want this. It's kind of cool because it stands up. It's portable. It's a touch screen. Pretty high tech for a little uh, home poker game. So uh, I'm hoping I can get 100 bucks for this. Yeah, that would be great. And the last thing I want to show you today is this guy here. This, I believe, is from the Power Rangers. It is a very large, uh, I forget what these call the Megazord. I don't know, something like that. I didn't really watch Power Rangers. Uh, found it was pretty cool. I don't think this will go on eBay. I'm guessing on there they were like 20 to 25 bucks. I paid $7.49. I'm going to throw this in my antique booth for 20 It's not a huge profit, but... But to just put a price tag on this thing and put it in my antique booth, it's pretty uh, quick and easy. So I'll probably net, you know, $10 after all the fees on this. But this was just too too cool to pass up. All right, that's it for today. Again, get your guesses in for the how much did Mike spend at Goodwill contest this month. Put them down in the comments down below. And if you're new, again, I got to say it at the end here every time. If you're watching for the first time and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I would really appreciate it if you did it now and help support the channel. All right, that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. Good luck in the contest. See you next time.